Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is a quick video. This goes out to Becca and to everybody out there who is new in starting any kind of art, mixed media, art journaling, ATC cards, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, I get asked a lot and Becca asked me for an idea for a paint palette if you cannot, uh, if you don't have one and you don't want to go buy one. Now, let me just tell you, um, you can go to the dollar store, you know, paint palettes are relatively cheap. Uh, but I understand not having money and I understand, you know, you want to do something at home, especially if you're just starting out and you don't want to spend the money to do it. So this is what I did. This is a piece of paper and at your dollar store, you can buy white, um, or clear rather packing tape for a buck, or you can use, maybe you have some decorative uh, duct tape or anything like that maybe that you don't use and this is just a piece of paper this happens to be a piece of vellum but it does not have to be it could be a piece of printer paper a piece of scrapbook paper whatever you have maybe you want it to be decorative I like it more plain um like white or you know plain when this is clean um you know if you want to see colors and color mixing but honestly because I do uh I paint the way I paint uh, that doesn't matter to me too much. You can use anything you want. All I did was I took this and I took this tape. And like I said, you can get it at the dollar store. I know that for a fact. Um, and I'm going to push this out the way. And all I do is put it down and I overlap. Now that obviously was too short. So I'll just go back in because it happened. Sometimes I get it all one piece. Sometimes I don't. And then I just do this and then I'll do it again until I get all of it covered. And then what I like to do is nah, turn it over. And if there's tape that, you know, I don't bother cutting or anything like that because why, you know, if you don't have to, why do it? And then I'll just kind of fold over any little stickies and you know, whatever way you want to do it. I will pull another piece this way. And then I will go over the back. And again, you can get this at the dollar store. So, you know, you're not spending a fortune, um, on tape. You know, if you're worried about that, I totally get it. And like I said, you can use something like this where this is literal duct tape but sticky and it'll do the same thing. You want it to have that kind of um, plasticky protection. Do you know what I mean? I don't think washi tape would work. It might try it. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a washi tape user. I don't know. I just don't use it like I probably should or could or you know what I mean? If it was sitting here, I'd probably use it a heck of a lot more. I've used it to do like, um, and you can see you can cut it or I just go over because you're only getting more protection and you want to be protected. You don't want that water getting in there or whatever. And if it does, so what? It's a piece of printer paper, you know, and it depends if, you know, you don't No, I just kind of mush that a little bit in there. It has a little bit of a, and I don't care. There we go. And I will continue, continue, continue with one more just to show you. Okay. And you'll just keep going. Okay. And then here we go. And you can cut it as big or as long um, as you want. Do I have it on both ends here? What do I need? I need a, one more here. Yeah. One more here. Just so I kind of bring it down. And like I said, be better than me. You know, you don't have to, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to rip up. You don't have to have bubbles if you don't want. Sometimes bubbles happen and there's nothing you can do and you can always, oh, that's just, that's a tough packing tape. That's good to know. Okay. And I think it's scotch. I got, I mean, it's from the literal, from the dollar store. I got it. So there we go. And like I said, I could go back down there, but what we're going to do is I'm going to show you. Okay. So we have that. So now what, what are we going to do? Well, let's take a paintbrush. Let's wet it because, and I'm going to go, look at that. So I could put some paint on here. Let's do a little bit of paint. 
a little ploop of paint won't hurt you. And you can see, I'm just kind of pretending like it's my palette. Look at me go. And then I'm like, oh, I got to clean it off. I'm done working. So I take my, look at this. And I can't promise you it'll be clean all the time, but it'll be there. And then I just wipe it. You can see where those little things are, but that's okay. And look, my palette's clean again. Come on. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. There it is. Uh, whoop, there it is. So other things you can do with these. You can use it as a um, kind of like a gel print kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? So we can take, I'll just use this because it's called using what I got. You know, I can kind of do this and I can take other colors. I can draw in it. I can let it dry and then add more on it, whatever you want. You see how I'm just kind of doing this, adding some scrapes in. It's lifting that up. Okay. And then we could take a piece of paper. Piece of paper. And come on now. Never claim to be perfect. It's a mess. I'm a mess. We'll do this. There we go. This is just a little piece of paper from, um, you know, a doily. And I can press this in. I can lift it up and continue to do that. It would be better with another piece of paper. I think you get what I'm saying because this isn't, it really isn't showing you what I want to show you. But, you know, I need a piece of paper and I don't have one. How can I not have a piece of paper in here? Oh, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Let's try another piece of this. <laughs> Giving it like that, lifting it up. And you see how you get the texture? What is this lighting today? Ugh. See how you get cool texture? And then you could put another color on and keep building just to, you know, just maybe you don't know what to do as your background for your art journal or ATC card. And you can just start, you know what I mean? And have fun and play. And then, like I said, when you're done with this, you just do this and wipe it off. And if it starts to dry, just spray some water on it. I'll just do this as I'm always prepared. <laughs> <laughs> so then if your kids, you know, want to do it or whatever, you know, you don't have to worry if it dries, you just re-wet it and look at us go. There you go. You know, and if I want to take time, I can put more water and do all that. Now you can see like right here, I have it's coming up because there was a bubble there. So all I'll do is either hit it with the heat gun or I'll just put another piece of tape over it. I'm not going to worry about that too much because why I can put it going this way and that'll stop it from coming up anymore. So, I mean, this is, you know, a fun, easy way to make yourself a paint palette. You can, you know, make it as big or as small as you want. Use it. Take it with you. I know some of you are uh, homebound and that kind of thing. This way you can take it in bed. You can, you know, do whatever you want. You can put as many papers as you want to make it thicker. I mean, it's like a, a mat. You can also decorate. And once your paper, your printer paper, or whatever paper you use is done, use the same kind of thing. Now you can laminate if you have a laminator and all that, but you can also use your packing tape to cover it. And then you can, your kids have like this really cute, or even you have a really cute mat. I was thinking about doing these in my group and maybe exchanging. So I might make a video and put it in there um, and see if anybody is, you know, wanting to do it. So if you're in my group, let me know down below if you, you would want to uh, make one and we'll exchange them. Very 
easy to ship and a lot of fun. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battles somebody else is fighting. And I hope this helps you guys. I really do. I know a lot of you are just starting out. I know, um, I know things can be expensive. Believe me. That's why I do these DIY, uh, art things, uh, to help people at home and, and to use stuff around the house that maybe you, you know, would normally throw away. So let me know what you guys think down below. I have many more of these coming. I hope this helped you guys out all that requested, uh, and you know, something like this. And I just love you guys. My, uh, channel is growing and it's like, Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. You guys with the greatest comments and emails, um, you know, and by the way, the dilutions paints, I have about, Oh geez. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have about 18 that are still good. Like that I bought and they are all still good. So they're not all, um, they're not all icky. Just, I have 18 that are still good. And then the ones I showed on my video the other day, which will be linked at the end of this video, uh, that are bad. So it's not where I'm keeping them. I don't leave them opened and, uh, my room's not humid or anything. Um, like I said, I, I, I'm not looking for free or anything like that. I just wanted to share with you guys because so many of you, like I said, it's back and forth. There's half of you who have the same issues that I do with the paints and the company doesn't answer you or acknowledge. And then there's the other half of you who are diehard, um, you know, fans of these, which I love these paints. Don't get me wrong. The ones I have that work are fantastic. They're opaque and they're beautiful and they're wonderful. Um, buttery and delicious. Like somebody said, the butter, uh, color, but, um, those ones, the other, the 10 that I showed you guys in the other video, those are cottage cheese and I can't get them to work and it's driving me bananas. Um, but I'm not, like I said, the company itself, I used to not like Tim Holtz because I did buy years ago, um, the paints that come with the daubers. And I have a handful here that I'm finishing up, but a lot of them, and you can go way back in my videos. Um, a lot of them didn't work. Uh, they were dried up or they wouldn't, it, it was awful. And the company didn't even acknowledge, like I emailed Tim Holtz, I emailed Ranger, nobody acknowledged or uh, reached out to me after or anything like that. And that was a lot of money to spend for the whole kit um, when they were on HSN or QVC or something. Um, and I have a few that still work that I had no issues with, but certain ones, and I know a lot of you had the same issues. Um, but I will tell you, Tim Holtz's, um, I, I think Ranger themselves maybe have stepped up because the craft industry and the paint and, and all that kind of stuff has really, uh, come about in a good way. Do you know what I mean? Like they're really stepping up with their products and that kind of thing. So maybe Ranger has, uh, stepped up and fixed the things. I don't know, but I love the, um, oh geez, I can't even think of what they're called. The distress oxide ink pads and all those kind of things from, uh, Tim Holtz. I love them. I've not had an issue. So, you know, I mean, it all depends, I guess, on, I guess the product or what have you, I don't know, but, um, yeah, so that's why I showed it. And like I said, I know a lot of you have that issue with your paints as well. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.